let's create beautifully client uh, in PowerPoint, right? Let me quickly show you how it looks like. Suppose it's in a client deck and then point one, this point one, point two, so and so forth. Correct. You can create multiple pointers in your deck. Okay, this is just in a demo purpose. I'm creating this particular deck so you can have the, you know, hands on on it and you can just play around it. Yeah. So let me quickly show you how you can create on your own and uh, So this is the screen basically right I'll create a shape first from the shapes click on the insert button and then shapes click on rectangle option you can see this rectangle get added likewise just press the control button you can see the next and then next and then just drag it from your mouse and then just, just leave it like this correct and then click on this option called rectangle triangle my bad click on the triangle and then just keep this size bit small click on the rotate 990 place it over here or maybe just down because this is our uh, slide number five so we'll keep this as a five and then this will be your four four this is your three this is your two this is your one right for time being just uh, place this somewhere okay so accordingly you will get the idea I think this is missing right so what we can do we can just keep it like this yeah keep it like this And then just select this entire thing click on shape horizontally and then vertically okay we can see the arranged it has been arranged automatically click on here again right just make the arrangement appropriately Control Z again click here it's touching though there is a no gap I'm just zooming in hope there is a no gap yeah there is a no gap now what I will do I'll just union this click here union union click here again click on the union button click here and then just union click here this union what exactly this union is doing it you know after the removing this arrows or maybe we are adding the colors that time you will get to know like this this is showing or be creating the new shape altogether yeah control Z I'll just remove the uh, outline from this I don't want this outline correct I'll just click this first click on gradient more gradient I'll click on pattern gradient fill I'll select a uh, color red okay for this gradient I'll pick color like this for this again I'll pick color yellow you can just play around this data it's complete your call how you want to uh, visualize this and keep it visually appealing for your client or maybe the deck presentation yeah and then just gradient likewise I'll just keep it this but I'm not really happy for this after seeing this color I'll just click here again mm, I'll keep this color okay I'm okay okay you can you know play around your color code uh, complete your call because visualization is on our mind how we play with our data right 
now uh, once we have this data set i mean this design is ready for us right uh, what we did we just create this uh, blank presentation first we have added one basic shape correct and then first this rectangle and then this particular shape triangle and we have just union it yeah this three step has been done now we need to add a slide number 1 2 3 series correct so i'll just this one let's just zoom this in bold control press place it over here control press place it over here place it over here just keep it like this okay and then randomly i'll just place the number you can add the a b c or maybe roman numbers you want to add you can do it complete your call and then two okay and then i'll just this group control g okay if you don't know the shortcut key don't worry click here click on group that's completely fine i'm pressing control g because okay control g that's completely fine it's getting hidden uh, at the back end okay we can just turn that on later on in the meantime just ensure that you know you're grouping this thing yes it is done now uh, what we will do will just add this one by one front click here front and then front front click entire thing click on the animation click on fly in right you can see this multiple effects are added one by one yeah click on the left like this and then when we click on this click here on click right and then just play this slide show it will show you like this 5 4 3 2 1 yeah or maybe you can just rearrange the number if you need it i just place this 5 first you can just rearrange this number i'll just keep it 1 2 4 5 so accordingly you know we can see this data right because 5 is coming first so that doesn't make any sense 3 2 4 5 right now this is perfect now once we have this data in place after clicking the uh, particular effect we are getting this particular uh, animation visually right click click on layout option we need the two headers i'll just click on this title slide i'll add client deck what we are discussing overview in point 1 we are discussing overview about us company norm structure or maybe meet the team thank you like this basic uh, pointers i have covered over here maybe pointers i would say i have just added this correct you can just make the changes as per your requirement it's completely fine this particular uh, not only the deck but you know even the college teachers right teachers uh, mostly use this particular thing to explain this to the students while explaining any kind of an uh, assessment thing correct overview about us company norms etc with the team and then i'll just select this uh, entire animation fly in we done we click on the fade in right now when we click on the fade in uh, ensure that we are click on the option 
called animation pane okay round we can see this option correct 2 3 4 five these are getting one by one added right overview this will be below this about us below this company norm this likewise this and this group view and we select this entire thing click on the with previous okay and then again i'll play this slider from beginning you can see this first content or maybe you can just add the image as well somewhere because complete your call one right second third fourth and then fifth this is your beautiful uh, infographic web presentation you can create it now not only this we can beautify this much more way right i'll add the new uh, blanks slide at the bottom and then uh, suppose i'll make these changes in the background and uh, i'll keep this red color like this correct i'll keep it uh, so this will you know uh, create a good sense like this slide one or maybe what we can say or uh, what it is exactly uh, this is the overview i'll just copy this content uh unformatted text i'll keep it i'll just keep it this okay and then likewise i'll do it for about us company norm as well okay this is just in a beautifying way yellow okay i'll keep it this again the same cool uh i'll keep it as a about a section you can take a pause somewhere okay if you if you have any concern to understanding feel free to comment in uh below i'll help you out with the answer okay and then company norm i'll just copy this again and this color i'm just checking one by one i'll just add this company norm for the time being i'm just adding this uh, maybe putting this placeholder content okay you can add your own content and manage your headers as per your requirement yeah uh, most of the time we say meet the team like this okay so i'll just keep it photographs thingy like this yeah meet the team cool i'll just keep it like this and then uh content what is the uh blue is the color so what i will do i'll select this gradient in a different way rectangular or maybe i'll keep it radical linear way okay linear way is fine yeah uh, it's completely fine like this color meet the team and then in time being i'm just adding this uh, folks okay don't take me otherwise meet the team and then last but not the least our yeah thank you slider you can keep this as is it's completely fine because nobody Uh, I mean according to me it's nobody cares but yeah it's a thank you because it's in a question and answer round you can have it 
make it as per your this thing but background color is needed that's for sure uh i'll keep it a background color something like um i'll remove this till it yeah it's something like this okay now we are almost done okay we have the five sliders added now what we are going to do we will link this to the respective uh sliders this is the client deck so i'll link this to the overview section again for this control k i'm pressing about us control k company norms mute team and then just make sure you are changing the color as well because you know when we are doing the hyperlink uh, it's automatically get uh, color code into the blue because of the default microsoft settings that's the reason it's getting the blue yeah uh when i click on the i have just you now make the hyperlink for this particular deck now when we do a back effect okay when we click on this back or maybe home page button that time i want one transition as well meaning i'll uh explain you again okay i'll just add the one home button over here somewhere or maybe i'll just click here cancel press control k none i'll just hyperlink to next slide but i don't want to next slide i want a proper slide so that's the reason i don't want this button i'll just remove this okay i'll add the this yeah and then i'll just type in home cool replace it like this control k client deck cool again the white color press it just copy this okay paste 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 and then paste it okay if needed you can press over here as well if not it's complete your call yeah because majority times at the end of the thank you uh, sliders folks have the questions right uh, can you please move on to the first slider second slider so that's the reason i just press it like this yeah select this entire thing click on the transition click on peel off like this now we can see our tech presentation here we go from beginning okay i place on the 1 2 3 4 and 5 okay now when i want to go for a slide number 3 i just click on slide number 3 this is my company norms i'll click on home this will again go to the home i'll place on the 4 this will the meet the team click on home again i'll click on the first is the almost we are there yeah so i'll just again click on this about a section and then i want to see this five this is thank you and yes thank you so very much for watching this video uh, i really appreciate your time please give me thumbs up on this particular channel and uh, have a great day ahead